Hey guys, we are graphing a linear inequality today. The good news is if you've been graphing lines, this isn't going to be too tricky for you, okay? There are three things we need to remember when we're graphing inequalities versus graphing lines, okay? So we need to remember to notice if it's going to be a solid or dotted line. We will be shading and we flip the sign if we multiply or divide by a negative, okay? If this feels like I'm throwing a lot at you at the moment, don't worry, we're going to break it down. So... The good news here is my y is already alone, so we don't actually have to worry about the bottom one here. If my y weren't alone, that would be my goal. I'd be getting my y alone. And if in that process of getting it alone, I needed to multiply or divide by a negative, we flip the sign. Obviously, we're not going to do that here, but I'll link a video for you in the corner that shows me doing an example like that. Okay. All right. Next, we will talk about these as we do the problem. Okay. First thing, I can just kind of pretend this is an equal sign for a minute to graph it. Just like normal, this is going to be my y-intercept and my slope. If you need a graphing line review, I'll link one in the corner, okay? So my y-intercept is 6, so I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's where my line crosses the y-axis. And my slope is negative 3, or we can think of it as negative 3 over 1, right? So I'm going to go down 3, right 1, down 3, right 1. I can keep going if I want. I can also go the other direction by going up 3, left 1, okay? Now, this is where the first difference is between just graphing a line and versus and <laughs> graphing an inequality, okay? This is where I need to figure out if I'm going to have a solid or a dotted line. It's pretty easy to remember. If we are less than or greater than, it's going to be a dotted line, okay? If we're less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it's going to be a solid line, okay? When it's a problem like this where it's just y is greater than, this line acts like a boundary, but my answers don't actually lie along this line, okay? Um, the other situation where you have an equal to, it's a solid line because the answers can lie along that line, okay? So there is my dotted line. Now, I can't tell you how many times I've been graphing these and I draw the line and then it's like, oh, crap, it was supposed to be a dotted line. And you go and try and like kind of erase it, which... I mean, that works, but it is easier if you just remember it from the beginning, okay? All right, now the last thing is shading, okay? Since this is an inequality, that means that either this side of that dotted line or this side of that dotted line, all of those ordered pairs can be answers to this, okay? So we need to figure out which side contains all of those answers, okay? So... The easiest thing to do is we're going to pick a point on either side. We don't want to pick a point along this line, but any point over here or any point over here. Okay. Whoa. So typically the easiest thing to do is to pick zero, zero if you can, as long as it's not along that line. Okay. So I'm going to pick the point zero, zero. Okay. And we are going to plug it in here, okay? My first number is X and Y. They're the same number, so it doesn't really matter, right? But we're labeling them for fun. <laughs> so we're going to plug these in. So I'm going to have Y, which we're plugging in 0, is greater than negative 3 times X, which we're plugging in 0, plus 6, okay? Now when I simplify that down, I get 0 is greater than... Negative 3 times 0 is 0, right? So that goes away, and then we just have 6. So then I go ahead and look at this and say 0 is greater than 6. Is that true? No, it's not, right? <laughs> that is not a true statement. So that means the answers on this side of the line where 0, 0 is, none of these will work for this equation. But all the ordered pairs on this side, and remember, this goes on forever, will work. So we shade it in. I'm not going to waste my marker shading it all in, but you get the idea. All the answers over there will work for this inequality. Okay. Now, if you need an example where we can't use zero, zero, because the line is along there, I'll link one in the corner, but hopefully this made sense and you can get your homework done. Thanks. Bye.